This is where, unsurprisingly, my video becomes a slideshow again. Pretty awesome theme park area if you ask me. I have some footage from in there, but I ultimately decided to cut it from the video, as if I play it again. I'd want to actually beat literally any of the games. Yep, I failed literally every single game that I played. Hello everyone, this is your pilot speaking. Welcome to Shark Simulator by Aerolon. I had so much fun playing this that it's kind of sad. Please, for my sake, lie and say you want me to play it again. It's probably one of my favorite games this year. It's estimated that 73 to 100 million sharks are killed a year for shark fin soup. Not only that, but the sharks are left alive, mutilated, and thrown back into the ocean to sink to the bed of the sea, slowly dying on their way down. Shark fin soup is nothing more than cruel and idiotic, as a healthy ocean relies on sharks. But humans are killing far too many every year. Eleven of the large shark species are nearly completely wiped out of the world. So this video, majority of my dialogue, is going to be facts about sharks and the cruelty that humans put them through. The larger shark species are the natural predators of rays and skates, as well as smaller sharks. Due to the decrease in their numbers, their prey have been able to increase to 10 times their previous numbers, meaning creatures such as bay scallops, clams and oysters are being eaten at a faster rate. This disruption of the ecosystem is extremely damaging and dangerous as the fewer oysters and clams mean the phytoplankton is under pressure as well. Phytoplankton being a filter for the ocean. That also means we as humans are in danger, as a collective, because phytoplankton produces 50% of the oxygen on Earth. In spite of the common misconceptions, as well as the portrayal in media, the likelihood of you being attacked by a shark are extremely low. To be attacked and killed by a shark is a 1 in 3.75 million chance. Meaning sharks, although like most animals, aggressive when provoked, are not inherently killers or monsters. Dolphins would also do the same to people when provoked, and yet you're less likely to hear of a dolphin attack than a shark one. This isn't to say sharks haven't and won't go for humans, just that it's less likely than you'd assume. Believe it or not, you're more likely to die from a flip-flop related incident than you are a shark. So here's a list of a few things you're more likely to die from rather than a shark attack. Flip-flops, icicles, champagne corks, coconuts, hot dogs, your bed, and vending machines. Now an argument could be made that these are all things you're more likely to interact with, but the point I'm trying to make here is that statistically speaking, a shark attack is rather low compared to the inherent fear people have towards them due to misrepresentation in media. Shark attacks per year average around 19 people with one death every other year. Not to say you should swim to or directly engage with sharks. Sharks are still predators and animals, but if you like your beaches and coastal areas, then you have sharks to thank for them being maintained. A decrease in sharks will lead to toxic harmful algal blooms, also called HABs, and eventually dead zones, meaning that the environment there is uninhabitable and unsafe. HABs halt the fishing and shellfish industry, as well as tourist trade, thus disrupting the local economy. As of yet, the only three countries to ban shark finning is Canada and the UK. With the United States in December of 2023, having finally joined, thus outlawing the sale of shark fin soup. There is currently little to no regulations on the sale of shark fins worldwide. As of now, there is roughly 170 shark with 220 of ray species that are endangered. This includes angel shark, great hammerhead, scalloped hammerhead, dagonose shark, oceanic white tip shark, short tail nurse shark, ganges shark, pondicherry shark, short fin mako shark, whale shark, cacharus, dwarf sawfish, and the striped smoothhound. In addition to this, great white sharks are classified as vulnerable or VU. This classification means that the species is at high risk of extinction in the wild.
Here's some facts about sharks that are more palatable than the first ones. Sharks do not have bones. Sharks are a type of fish called elasmobranchs, which are fish made of cartilaginous tissues. Most sharks actually have really good eyesight. This is because the black of a shark's eyes have a reflective layer of tissue called a tapetum, which helps see in low light. Sharks have small black spots near the nose, eyes, and mouth, which are special electroreceptor organs that lets the shark sense electromagnetic fields and temperature changes in the ocean. Sharks have skin similar to sandpaper in texture. It's shown in fossils found in Australia that sharks have existed up to 455 million years ago. Some species of sharks can glow. This includes the, the viper dogfish, the velvet belly lantern shark that has glowing spines on its back, which act as a warning, and the dwarf lantern shark, which is smaller than your hand and its belly lights up. Some sharks are sexually reproduce, which does include hammerhead sharks, which is sadly one of the species in danger of extinction. It's theorized this is an evolved trait due to the decreasing numbers. Tasseled wobbegongs, believe it or not, is the name of species of sharks that has evolved to blend into the floor of the seabed. Female sharks have thicker skin than males. Whale sharks, one of the biggest in the ocean, are gentle creatures. Lemon sharks can and do bond with divers they see often, and they can even get jealous or protective of that diver when other sharks get near them. Some species of sharks have to keep swimming and moving in order to breathe, and although not true for all sharks, it is true for great white, tiger and mako sharks. Three species of sharks are the reason behind the most attacks and fatalities are bull sharks, tiger sharks, and white sharks. There's up to 500 shark species. Greater white sharks have never been successfully kept in captivity. Basically, if not all, sharks cannot swim backwards. Sharks don't have a swim bladder, meaning the usual technologies to locate fish doesn't work on them. Scientists find sharks' ages by counting the shark's vertebrae. Megalodons were most likely killed off by what came to be modern great white sharks. Sharks seem to genuinely hate the taste of human, going as far as to avoid human blood in water. From here on, I'll just be talking about the gameplay, as this is a really fun game and I genuinely loved playing it. I still have it downloaded and plan on playing it later today, just to try and further in the quests the game has. I did manage to freeze it and bust through the map a few times, but that tends to be the normal issues I have in games. I really don't mean to or try to break them, I just so happen to be rather good at doing so. I'm really just tired of researching the depressing truth of sharks, and being dyslexic has made this video my own personal hell to write for. If that all just comes off as piss-poor excuse, I'm sorry. Most times I edit around 1 to 6 a.m., 
so I tend to be rather tired and it messes with my writing quite a bit. For anyone unaware, I use a refurbished gaming laptop, and one that was already on the lower scale. So the app does have a little lag here and there, but it tended to be worse in the ocean, hence why each death I'd just cut moving back to the island out, as it oftentimes was a bit closer to a slideshow rather than a video. Equally, the movement on land can be a little hard to manage, but it is very funny, definitely true to the description the creator gave the game. My favorite thing is just how the shark bites. It feels like the jaw is just a slapped on hinge that just sort of kind of works. You can bite multiple things at once, which I didn't really notice until around here. Equally only recently realized you have a proper attack with the weapons attached to your tail. By the way, I didn't see Harpoon in the ship somehow, and the cut was me flopping off to go search elsewhere, thinking maybe I just had the wrong location. This is the port so I was in the right spot. The harpoon works like a grappling hook, so I immediately got to chucking myself around with no care in the world. It was rather disorienting for me, but it was really funny to me to see a shark get flung through the air. If this goober was a hero, what do you think people would call as its name? This is where, unsurprisingly, my video becomes a slideshow again. Pretty awesome theme park area if you ask me. I have some footage from in there, but I ultimately decided to cut it from the video, as if I play it again. I'd want to actually beat literally any of the games. Yep, I failed literally every single game that I played in this. This is when I learned you can spin attack again. I found this out in some of the part of the cutout by the port and forgot promptly again. Also, I die really fast again, which caused me to lose the harpoon. I don't get it back again.
I get stuck a lot in this, either clipping through buildings or parts of my weapon got jammed in somehow. I'm not entirely sure how I pulled it off or how I pulled off launching myself as much as I did, but it was rather funny to see the shark be launched off as much as I accidentally sent it. Also, fighting the police off in front of the small fish and chips store for me was oddly funny. I think the shark was upside down for more of the fight even. For some reason, I absolutely despised buses towards the end and at times would actually hunt them out to bite at or slash at them. So take that as you will. Piss shark hates buses and school. I found out you could grab multiple things at once here, which was really late in the recording. This was maybe 50 minutes in, so I went the whole hour without knowing basically all of the main mechanics for fighting. Plus I never got used to the physics or how you slide when you flop around. Sorry for this section being so lagged. I'm not sure what about this game chugged so badly on my laptop, but I hope it's still enjoyable to watch. I bet you'll be surprised to know I had absolutely no idea about the med kits, so I have gone the whole game passing the hospital and never once seeing the med kits there. So I died a lot, thinking that was the only way to get all my health back. These are the last few minutes of the gameplay footage I got. And I never found the time machine. I did try, but the most I achieved was throwing myself off the road and down the cliff several times. This was me checking the map, thinking maybe something would stand out. It doesn't, and it was rather laggy for the video for some reason. I don't know what it was about the map that was so rough for recording, unlike everything else. The ocean made sense given the animation going on, the map is a still image from what I can tell, and OBS absolutely hailed it. But I knew I was on the right side now, so I make my way around and then start to climb up the incline to get to the, I guess, hilltop housing area. As I said before though, I never get back up there. I throw myself right off or slide clean off, which eventually leads to my freezing the game. And that is when I ended the recording. So yeah, fun stuff, great game. You should go play it.
That's it for this video. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you staying with me as I played this game. You don't have to come back. I'm truly thankful for the time you gave me, and I hope you have a wonderful day or night. Don't forget to get some water, a snack, and be safe, bud.